This player's IQ is super high. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. The IQ is next level. Next level IQ. And they're upset and they're complaining, but he followed the rules. And we'll get into that in a bit. And we're also going to talk about one of my situations where I did the same exact thing later on this video. Now let's break this down. Okay. So now the runner steals, and then we got a wild pitch. Okay. And he sees it and then he runs the third and the catcher almost throws and hits the hitter in the head, but the hitter gets out of the way. And as he looks at third base, he's upset at the runner. Like why didn't he let me hit? I was going to hit a home run off this guy. This guy is nothing. And now back to the runner. He realizes at this point that he's going to be out. Now he is in his head thinking, how can I get out of the situation? And as he starts running back to the second base, he says at this point in his head, I'm going to let him get close to me, but, but not close enough where he's going to tag me. Okay. So you can see here how he kind of like jogging, jogging, and then he turns on the burners and then he stops and he gets obstruction. And that is the reason why he is awarded third base. Now, a lot of people are saying he should be out. He should be out, but you get three feet out on both sides and he didn't go outside those three feet and plus it's his lane when he's running the base path base path if it's a grounder then it goes to the fielder but at this point it's the base runner's path so for him he did an excellent job knowing this knowing the rules and definitely taking advantage of this opportunity and i'm going to show you here another angle which you're going to see exactly the moment when he was like okay i need to stop and get this obstruction call so he's running and then he sees and then you can see right here how he goes and just touches him and now he has the obstruction call and he is awarded and look at the lane here so he has his lane he's running to third base okay and then he stops and then he you know nudges him and now he has obstruction because it's his lane and he is awarded third base and that's what i call brilliant and uh, i want to get your perspective on it okay comment below and i also want to take you back in the time machine back to 2011. i'm playing for los mochis the cañeros in the uh, mexican winter league right it was after my season i was in double a we have alex centron up okay and if we look right here i'm leading off and they had picked over two to three times okay at that point i said there's no way they're going to pick off again okay and what did he do you can see here i'm about to go and he picks off and at this point i'm thinking to myself i need to get an obstruction call because i am going to be out so i start running and i notice the first baseman in my path so as i run back i just touch him a little bit now this is a little bit more extreme you probably want to flop next to the player but not you know grab him as i was trying to do and then no one tags me and then i just run to second base and they call me safe so this play right here was a very very interesting call i could have been out on this situation this is a little bit more extreme than uh birdie in his situation but they called me safe because he was in my path and i touched him now i probably should have did it more disguised but the same mindset applies um, because at the pro level, this is one of the biggest, biggest issues is running downs. We never practice it. And this ends up, you know, happening more often than you think. So I want to get your thoughts. Am I out or was I safe?